Now, assault weapons are a huge problem in the United States. And um, I've, uh, we're advocating for that the U.S. should adopt a ban on assault-style weapons. Now, as far as the definition, what is an assault weapon in this vein? An assault weapon would be defined as a weapon that contains a detachable magazine, has 10 or more rounds for each magazine, can fire many rounds without reloading, and that has one or more military characteristics, including a pistol grip, a forward grip, a barrel shroud, a threaded barrel, or a folding or telescoping stick. Now, there are, uh, there are three claims. The significance claim is that assault-style weapons pose an unnecessary threat on people in the United States. The inherency claim is that as long as assault weapons are legal, the people of the United States are more likely to suffer from gun-related deaths. And the solvency claim would be that a federal ban on assault-style weapons would make the United States safer. Now, for the significance, it is um, by the violence and crimes committed towards uh, people and police, assault-style weapons would pose a threat in society. Uh, German Lopez from the article, I've covered gun violence for years and solutions are a big mystery. He stated that the U.S. nearly has six times the gun homicide rate of, the U.S. nearly has six times the gun homicide rate of Canada, more than seven times that of Sweden, and nearly six time, 16 times that of Germany, according to the United Nations data compiled by The Guardian. Now, what this is saying that due to the overabundance of, of weapons into the U.S., such as assault weapons, that is why the U.S. is more likely to have a higher gun homicide death rate as opposed to our other countries within the United Nations. Christopher Cooper, in, in the article, Assault Guns Are Not Just About Mass Shootings, he states that weapons with large capacity magazines, which are defined as those that can hold more than 10 rounds at a time, appear to be especially prevalent among guns used in murders of police. Assault weapons accounted for up to 16% of the weapons in those crimes, but large capacity magazines were seen in more than 40% of those incidents. Now, when it comes down to assault weapons, not only are innocent lives being taken away, such as in massive shootings, but we also have to take into account for our local authorities, such as the police, as they would be suffering from the threat of an assault weapon being illegal. Now, the, since assault weapons are so easy, easily accessible, it makes it a huge issue in the US. From the article, assault rifles being prominent on Chicago streets um, by um, Raymond Lopez, he states that we are seeing time and again these weapons are being imported from Tennessee, North Carolina, Indiana, but people are buying them by trunk loads, three hundred dollars a pop for an AK-47, bringing them to our streets, bringing them to our streets, which is in Chicago. Now this is this would be an issue because not only can you buy uh, weapons legally, such as an AR-15 in most states, but in, in the city of Chicago, you could easily access an AR-15 for uh, through a second-hand deal, such as $300, and there's no background checks included into this, and the fact that uh, guns are still legal in other states also causes issue in the states that have these assault weapons banned. Also, um, from Richard Opal, um, he states that under federal law, you must also be 21 to buy a handgun from a firearms dealer, but 18-year-olds can buy semi-automatic rifles. And this article was posted after the Parkland, um, the Parkland shooting, and this just comes to show how a simple handgun is illegal at, until 21 years old, but 18-year-olds can buy semi-automatic rifles, and there should be something done about this. Um, Mass shootings are prevalent and they have occurred and they will occur. Um, Eric Boehm states that one is the AR-15, a semi-automatic rifle used in several mass shootings, including the one of uh, the attack on the Texas church last weekend. And um, these assault weapons continue to pose a threat to society by the overusage of them in mass shootings. And there needs to be a stop to this. Now, for um, as long as assault weapons are legal, the people of the United States are more likely to suffer from gun-related deaths. And one of the reasons for this is that the abundance of assault-style weapons makes deaths more prone to people. Um, also from German Lopez in the, in the same article, he states that the U.S. also has by far the highest number of privately owned guns in the world. It is estimated that, estimated in 2007, the number of civilian firearms in the U.S. is 88.8 .8 guns per 100 people, meaning that there's almost one privately owned gun 
per American and more than one parent American adult. And now to compare it to another country, which is a second ranked country, Yemen, they were at 54.8 guns per 100 people. And the reason why they're so high is Yemen is, was currently at a civil war at that point in time. And the US, not even being in a civil war, still has 30 more guns per 100 people as opposed to Yemen, which is facing a high crisis, which is just absurd. Um, um, when assault weapons are still legal, there are more deaths from mass shootings. Christopher Ingram states that the number of gun mac massacres during the ban period fell by 37%, which the ban period took place from 1994 to 2004, and the number of people dying from gun massacres fell by 43%. But after the ban lapsed in 2004, the number shot up again at an astonishing 183% increase in massacres and a 239% increase in massacre deaths. This, um, this shows that if assault weapons are still made legal, there's going to be an increase as opposed to assault weapons being illegal. There won't be as many uh, mass shootings and deaths followed by it. Now, for the solvency claim, a federal ban on assault style weapons will make the United States for, um, I'm going to be advocating that the provisions to this federal ban on assault, assault style weapons will prevent a lot of weapons from being accessible and legal. Um, from senators introduced assault weapons ban off of uh, Senator Feinstein's uh, provisions. It, it states that um, it'll ban the sale, manufacture, transfer, and importation of 205 military style assault weapons by name, and owners may keep existing weapons. And also, uh, one of the other provisions would be that bans any assault weapons that accepts a detachable uh, ammunition magazine and has one or more military characteristics, including a pistol grip. A forward grip, a barrel shroud, a threaded barrel, and that's just the definition of assault weapon. And by banning these assault weapons, they will reduce them. Um, they will reduce the number of deaths by these weapons. And what is it?